All right, welcome everybody to a Friday Coffee and Art in the Morning. Um, it's kind of uh, iffy if I ever stream on Fridays, but today I squeezed a stream in to finish our mermaid that we started working on Wednesday. And this is in the book. Hang on, let me find the front cover here because it's uh, spiral bound. Where's the cup? There it is. And it's a Russian girl that publishes this, so I have no idea what it says. I think Jen told me once, but I forgot. <clears throat> but I will, um, I'll post her link. I think this is it right here. It's her website. You have to buy it from cre Creatively, but it's C-R-E-A-T-I-V-E. L L Y dot R U. So you have to buy it from her, I guess, in Russia. I'm sure it's Jen uh, reading with Pug sent me this copy. So I'm sure it's oversized. It's 12 and a half by 12 and a half. So it's quite large. So the shipping's probably going to cost you as much as the book. Just saying. <laughs> but here's one of the other ones that I have finished. I did finish this one. And it's got all kinds of stickles on there. I want to do today's, there's some stickles there, I want to, today I want to use some of the um, glitter paint that I got, let's see, let's get, um, where's the uh, clear, I'll probably use the gold and the, I have gold, clear, red, blue, I think those are the colors that I got, anyway, they're called, uh, Twinkles, and they're by Deco Art, the same people that make Americana. So I want to use these, paint these on top of the whatever we do. Now, that being said, how we did this in part one is we gessoed it, clear gesso, and then did watercolor on top. So I will we'll see what happens when we go to put wet paint on top of uh, on top of watercolor. But anyway, so this is as far as we got on Wednesday. And I told y'all I wasn't going to work on it. Oh, now I feel a sneeze coming on. So let me turn my fan a little bit. <coughs> my fan is blowing in my face, making me. Okay. So um, I want to, you know, continue working on, on her. So we got a little bit, got her face skin done. And we're working down her body and her skin. So I'm going to zoom in. I just wanted y'all to see the whole page before I zoomed in. If y'all have any questions, put them in caps. And if you're watching this recording on YouTube, it's a live show on Ustream with a live mostly awake. <laughs> hey, Jen. Mostly awake chat. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so we can work a little closer there. That looks pretty good. All right, so back to, I think I'll go ahead and work on her hair for a bit. And I'm going to do her hair black with blue highlights. Yeah. Which has got a watercolor base. And you can see we got her face going there. A little bit needs a little bit more. But you can see here, this is non-blended here. And this is blended. I don't want to pull that up there like that too much. I guess I could zoom in more if we need to. But that's her the skin blended, and here's her skin not blended. Just so you can see um, how it layers, layers work. Yeah, I will, Connie. I will put a link in. Okay, so let's go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and work some more on her hair here. And I'm just going to kind of... We'll probably put some, um, we'll put some clear glitter on her hair. So I'm just kind of following all the lines that the artist drew. And then I'll kind of color them in, shade them in. If y'all have any questions, just put them in caps. And we'll see how far we get. 
however far we get today I'm gonna put up this video and part one I did not put up part one yet from Wednesday on YouTube I'm gonna put it up today I'm gonna put them both up at the same time you like it, it looks like well I did put green in there I put green and there are scales actual scales on her skin right here but I want her smooth I want her to have smooth skin I mean scales and all <laughs> so y'all want to tell me what you're working on I'm I'm we've talked before I hit record that everybody stay safe uh, in the hurricane um, areas and hope everybody that needed to evacuate did so See, I need to kind of work around her face here. See if we can get that. Let me sharpen, <clears throat> sharpen my pencil. So yeah, I did a little, little. Uh, I was telling the girls that I, uh, and well, I showed them too. I re rearranged my desk and I brought all my paints back over here from another shelf when I rearranged the last time. So now I have all my paints right here in front of me and beside me. And then I put my marker pencil build that I built out of foam core. I put it above there. So everything is real handy now. And uh, I can probably show it again at the end. I've, I just taped my camera back up. So I don't want to move the camera again right now. But um, yeah, I did that yesterday. Worked in here. And then I um, rearranged a bunch of shelves. Did some happy mail. Got a bunch of stuff done in here. You're at the bakery? <laughs> hey, Ray. Marilyn. Hey, Marilyn. Francis is working on the first page of Zimya Snova, an eerie new travel book. Kangaroos in, uh, jo yo I don't know if she pronounces it, Johanna or Johanna. Uh, Enchanted Forest. L Lena is working on prepping a book for altered art with mixed media ripping out pages <laughs> oh, Lena that sounds funny I'm ripping out pages <laughs> so I'm her hair is going down here like this Oh, it's beautiful and sunny here. I'm not sure the temperature. It's cool. I have the windows open in the house, so it's nice and cool. We're expected to get rain on Monday from the hurricane. We have a family coming in to Atlanta today from Savannah. Um, they had to evacuate, and so they're coming in. I'm sure the the highways jammed hey Tati Tatiana music Tatiana musical Tatiana is working on Medusa and Mythomorphia I know I gotta get that one done everybody asked me to do that one Grace said the UPS came gypsy U UPS came out as gypsy Oh, you mean your name, Grace. Oh, okay. I thought you got UPS. I thought you got a gypsy book from UPS. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know about the gypsy book. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, <laughs> let's see what else. Connie started a watercolor at 2 this morning and doing the wishing well in the secret garden. And she did get the abandoned America in the mail. Is that different than the one? Is that a different one than I got? Abandoned? I mean, I like all abandoned books. So, you know, I got the one Eileen sent me and I got abandoned. I got two copies of abandoned, actually. 
I'm cut, I'm using both of them. <laughs> cut one up and then the other one I cut up to put in the cut up one. <laughs> Mount Dreamer is working on Halloween ATCs for the swap. Is that uh, um, what do you call it? Is that um, Angus swap? I know there's a couple of them going on. I, I don't know which one you're working in. So I'm not like shading in all the black yet because I'm going to put blue highlights in there, in her hair. Because I want, her hair is really black, black, very dark black. So I want some kind of high. I don't want it to be like gray. An ATC is an artist trading card, <clears throat> Francis. And they're... I'll show you some of my, well, I won't get out my books of them, but I should have a couple sitting here. Um, do I have one sitting here? I got a couple here from people. Uh, here's, here's one from Nell. Uh, this is in my little stack of, this is from Nell. This is, here's a Christmas one. They're two and a half by three and a half. Um, the art cards I make and give away are three by four. They're a little larger than this. But this is your standard artist trading card. It's the same size as a playing card or as a baseball card. So they fit in the baseball card sleeves. But that's the size of them. Sonia is working in anamorphia, needs some petting and love. <laughs> yeah, I know. You feel like that sometimes, don't you? When you don't work in a book for a while, you go, oh, that one needs some love. <laughs> we need to love on that book for a while. <laughs> and we have so many books. And again, I have not yet gone through. I'm going to do what Aaron does and tab, you know, tab with uh, post-it, post-its the finished pages and pages that are needing to be finished so what i'll probably do is like pink for still need to be working on you know i'll just use like post-it notes like this and blue for the finished ones <clears throat> Yeah, I've got uh, binders and binders. I, I swapped ATCs seriously for four years. So I have three, four, and five inch binders full of hundreds of ATCs. Because I swapped them and was in like swaps and hosted swaps. And they were on Yahoo groups back then. It's like 2004, 5, 6 back then. Um, is when I did it for, it was before I started streaming, and I've been streaming for seven years, so. So, yeah, but I'm not sure if, who, when, if y'all are talking about uh, the Halloween swap, if you're talking about Angie's swap. I know. So many projects, so little time. Oops, my, I'm blocking my light there. But I'm anxious to get to the glitter. My Anne enabled, a colorful life Anne enabled glitter and y'all keep Anne in your thoughts and prayers too. she's in savannah <clears throat> i haven't seen if she's having to if she's going to evacuate i don't know if she is or not i mean has anybody seen if Anne's going to evacuate 
my relatives in Savannah are coming to Atlanta. So, well, not all of them. I don't know if all of them are, but some of them are. I don't know. I haven't seen if Anne is going to or not. Jim, do you know? Everybody stay safe. Savannah's on the coast. We're in Atlanta here. We're kind of like, you know, mid-Georgia. North of middle of Georgia, I guess. So we're supposed to get, we're supposed to, we're supposed to get rain on Monday. Jen says she said she would update us today. Okay. All right. Thanks, Jen. And she takes care of her elderly parents, so she's got a lot to think about, you know? All right, so there's the layer of black on her hair. Now I'm going to go in with some blue highlights. Put some highlights in her hair. Maybe do a little blend. I can always go back and add more black if I want, if I get too much blue, you know. But I'm going to go ahead and get a layer of blue down. Then I'll go back with the black. The model show direct line to Atlanta now. Erin is a yeah, but by the you know if it goes up land all the way through Florida and up through Georgia, you know it'll probably just be storms by the time it gets here. You know, just some rain and and heavy storm. That's what they my local weather said. I mean, we're not evacuating out of Atlanta. Yeah, now if you're down in Florida, that's a whole different thing. Because, the you know, it's going to be strong when it hits land down there. Okay, i got to fix this right here. Oh, our arm. And I still have to blend all her skin here. We did blend, you know, her face. Um, i got to sharpen. i got to get right along that cheek line. want to keep the shape of her face. I don't want to get it right in her eye. Give her a little bit more lash. And they are going to your daughter's in LaGrange. Oh, okay. Good, Connie. Yeah, we have, like I said, we have relatives in Savannah coming this way. So... And I'm going to put glitter in her hair. <clears throat> but you usually got to do, now I haven't used these yet, you know, except for a test. Well, I'm going to put, I'm going to put clear glitter in her hair. I'll put gold glitter. Well, no, I'll probably put clear on her body too. I might put uh, the gold glitter on her shell shirt and maybe on these fish. I know, right, Tatiana? So I'm just blending it out. I wanted to finish this and then I'll upload both parts, this one and part one today, you know, barring any upload issues. You know, every now and then we get a video or two that gives us trouble. But uh, barring any issues, 
I'll upload part one from Wednesday and this one as well today. Hope y'all can see. I'm not 100% zoomed in, but I want you, you know, it's a big page. The page is 12 and a half by 12 and a half. So I'm just kind of moving it around. <laughs> Can you mix glitter like regular paint? Um, you mean these? I don't know. I've not used these yet, Pacola. I just got them the other day. Well, I guess it was last weekend. I don't know now. Today's already Friday. Uh, I just got them because Ann used them. Ann doesn't like stickles. I usually just use stickles. So because Ann doesn't like stickles, she bought these, and I'd never heard of them. So when she used them, she's the gold one. She's the gold one. And so, I said, well, I might have to look up those things. Those look pretty good, Ann. <laughs> so, yeah, so I haven't used them yet. Thanks, Terry. Good morning, by the way. We're just talking about get, keeping everybody safe in the hurricanes. Uh, Eileen, um, in other words, the enabler elf, Eileen, she's gone up from... Um, Boca Raton up to somewhere around Orlando, mid-Florida, so she and her mom, so she should be okay, and um, Susan is in mid-Florida too, and so hopefully everybody stays safe. We pack up and if we pack up, get out. I'm taking my mini magazine playground in your society. Yeah. I hope so, Pacola. I hope you don't have to evacuate. Pacola's in um, Pensacola. Okay, there we go. Work my way up the top of her head. It was good to see Eileen at Jen's. Okay, well, I didn't know she... I wasn't at Jen's last night. I was asking the girls this morning if anybody would heard anything from her since she had gone up uh, north. What did she say, Dorothy? Because nobody here, I guess, saw it, including me. So, I was just... We were wondering... Let me stop doing that with my hand and use my brush. <laughs> Because we were all asking about her, and nobody has talked to her since, since she and her mom went up north, North Florida, or more north, I should say. So I wasn't at Jen's last night. I usually can't make it to Jen's, or usually a little on the late side. But I try to watch her recordings or her YouTube uploads or whatever she puts out. Jen's in Australia, for those of y'all that don't know. Jen Oz. I'm really anxious to put the glitter on. If we get close to two hours, I'll put the glitter on, <laughs> whether we're done or not, and let it dry. She seemed but was tired and went to bed. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. That was a that was a long drive for her mom and, and her. Thanks, Chatty. So I'm going to go back to working on her skin here in a minute. I wanted to get her hair put in there. And again, I can go back in here. I, I really don't think I need to do too much more dark. I want to keep the blue because when I put the glitter on, I think it's going to look really awesome to have all that blue highlight in her hair. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go back to her face. And I was using the dark brown, a sienna, and ginger root. Other than a little bit of 
um, magenta, what is it, processed red <coughs> on her lips. And I put a little bit in her cheek here. I did her green nails because her body, see, she's turning, you know, she's a mermaid. So she has scales on her body. But you can see, here's the difference between, and I, now I've got to go back and blend her cheek in. But I blended her face here, and now I've got to blend the rest of her body. But that eye looks a little wonky. I don't know why. Let me get a, let me get my uh, Sharpie or a Posca. This eye, it, it's almost like she's looking a little... And then I'll get um, a Sharpie pen to get back my detail. And she has green eyes to go with her green skin, you know, green and brown skin. Very end of the stream. Jen was finishing her storage box for her ink pads. Yeah, I saw, I've seen pictures of it. Congrats on, oh, thanks guys. I got 300,000 views on Ustream. Oh, thanks, Marilyn. I didn't even know that. <laughs> thanks, Marilyn. That's, that's awesome. Thanks, everybody that watches. I appreciate it. Because that's all you guys that are here, you know? So I'm using ginger root to blend. Thanks, everybody. Just going to finish blending out her face. I like to do different skin tones on our girls. You know, some, some with darker skin. I'm going here with a little bit of the sienna right along the edge here. I think one of my favorite color book pages with the with dark skin is my um, mermaid from Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I love that page. I love my mermaid girl. I show, I've shown it, so I think all of y'all have seen it. If anybody I hadn't seen it, I'll show it again. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Terry. Well, y'all know I do portraits, so I'm used to doing skin. I don't put near as much blend in color books <laughs> as I do my portraits. But I still want her to look, you know, good skin tone here. Let me get out my book, my th binder. Let's see. And uh, what do you call it? Uh, Bennett Klein really liked our uh, Art Ninja. <clears throat> Let's see. Where's my Jasmine pages? Where are you, Jasmine? Ah, here we go. Okay, so here she is. Let me take her out. So here's my little mermaid with braids. I can't really put it. There we go. It's a little flashed out. I got my lighting, my window open, so it's kind of sunny. But I think you can still see her there. And see, I have. She has blue and purple undertones in her skin. I took a lot of time to do undertones in her skin. And then she did not have braids. I made her braids. So. But y'all see all my portraits. I love doing every nationality. Um, all my portraits have every nationality. And then her. You can see I did glitter on her. Stickles. On her tail and her shirt. Or her top. There we go. And then I painted all the water. And painted the sky and painted the clouds and and put the R out. <laughs> Thanks, Marilyn. Marilyn, you're so encouraging. And then like here's a red headed girl. 
This is the pirate. She's got red hair and freckles. Purple eyebrows. And again, painted in the background, painted in the water, the rain. So there's our little pirate girl. Um, then here's our skull girl. Our, <laughs> so see, she's this one's got blue, blue skin. You know, like she's pale, like, I don't know if I want to say she's like death, but, you know. <laughs> she's. And then I put in um, fire, painted in fire, and then I put it like, there's the earth. So she's not on earth. And let's see what other little girls we got here. I'll just show you my Jasmine girl since we've got them out now. Uh, again, here's our sea witch or sea ghost, maybe. And again, I did her with blue and then put an aura around the little ship, painted in the background, painted in her dress to look like, you know, real watery like. A little lantern there, but she's got pale skin. And then let's see what else we got. Then this one is the poppy girl. This was my first one to color. The first jasmine girl. <laughs> it's your imagination. Whatever you want it to be, Terry. That's why I love I love art when you have to figure it out yourself. Okay, let's see. Then I got here's another one. This one's Halloween and she's got lots of uh, she's got lots of stickles on her and she's purple and I tried to do the vest and her dress to look like velvet so I didn't blend it I left it like unblended to make it look like it's velvet and then there's the stickles on her and the vest the belt buckle and then out of his eyes we did like and this is all painted in. Um, like his, he's got light glowing out of his eyes. So I really like this one. Did this one on Halloween. And even though this one is out of the Halloween book, I didn't do this one Halloween colors. But I did her, this girl here with the blue hair. And stickles are on the cupcakes. Let's see. There we go. And she's got turquoisey hair, teal hair. Yeah, the Connie, the one that comes up on Google, if you, yeah, is the poppy girl, yeah. And then did a little spider with little uh, glitter legs. Let's see if I can see the glitter on his little legs there. So, yeah, there's the cupcake girl with blue eyebrows. And I think I got one, yeah, the pumpkin patch. I did this one like Children of the Corn, and again, this was we did this one on Halloween last year. So she has purple, purple skin, with the orange, pumpkin wheat hair, and then I made her look like she was coming out of a pumpkin. And then this is mist and fog with paint rubbed on with the baby wipe, acrylic paint with the baby wipe. And so there's the other Halloween girl. So, yeah. Hey, Kenny, Kimberly, anybody else? Suzanne? Hey, Suzanne. So, and then I, I put these in her hair. Those weren't there. I put wheat coming out of her hair. I wanted to look like static, like staticky hair. So, yeah. So there we go. So those are the ones that I have by Jazz. I mean, uh, yeah, Jasmine, with all different, you know, different colors of skin: blue, purple, um, like clear, dark, redhead. You know, so just like all different colors of skin tone. All right, so let's go back to her now. So I'm going to go in here now with my ginger root to blend. And I'm going to start blending. She's got, let's see, her little ear there. I don't want to lose her little ear. And I'm going to start, like, you know, start blending in. And I'll probably have to go back and forth between the sienna and the ginger root. And 
and then I want a little bit of highlight right along our hand. I might have to put that in there with the Posca if I lose that highlight too much. She has green, green skin. So anyway, as we were saying, we're hoping everybody stays safe. Everybody's evacuated that needed to evacuate. I remember watching you do the children on the corn. Aw, thanks, Kenny. Yeah, did that last Halloween, well, last October. We did three, I think. We did the cupcake girl. We did the pumpkin guy with the girl. And then we did the Children of the Corn. We did those three last October. When our book first came out. I'm going to blend this down just a little. I hope it's not too flashed out. I'm just kind of letting the sun come through the window so it's a little bright, but hopefully it's okay. So she's got brown and green on her hand and her arm here, and then a little bit on her shoulder, a little bit on her neck. See, because the green's growing up off of her scales. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to paint the background. I probably won't have time to paint the background on this one today. Um, I was more concerned about finishing the mermaid, even if I didn't finish the fish and all the little doodads around her. I wanted to get her done. So a nice light area right along her neck there, highlight. It's time to start hunkering down for the storm. Where are you, Kimmy Poo? Kimmy says she's hunkering down for the storm. Where are you? I mean, I have your address, I'm sure, somewhere, but I don't remember where you are. Where are you, Kimmy? Or she already left. Might have already left. I might have missed her. Hey, May. Yeah, we have relatives moving in here. Well, not here at my house. I mean, they're coming in to Atlanta from Savannah. I'm waiting to see if Kimmy has already answered. Does anybody know where Kimmy is? So I'm just going back and forth. But now that I've already got all the color laid out, I'm going back and forth between the uh, sienna color and the ginger root. I'm using ginger root to blend. But I'm kind of taking my time here. You've evacuated to north of Orlando. Where are you normally, um, Kimmy? Yeah, Eileen evacuated to up that way. Uh, Suzanne, I mean, um, Susan Ribbons is up that way. Ah, you live by Eileen. Ah, okay, well then, yeah, you did have to evacuate, didn't you? Well, take care. Keep us posted. Tweet or, or however you want. So we know. I'm just going back and forth, guys. And you can't, if you bear down, you're, you're not going to get that blend. you got to just take it nice, soft layers. So you're able to keep blending. I think I need a little dark brown right in the little her little neck div, divot in her neck right there. And probably right along her hand here. I need that a little brighter. So let's go a little darker right along there. That's better. 
probably right along here too, under her hair. There's her ear right there. I'm just going to blend this down just a little bit more. Yeah, that for sure you had to evacuate, Kimmy Poo. I don't, I don't know where Carla is either. Since she moved, I don't, I don't have her new address or anything. So. Okay, let's go right in here. I, I like her, what do you call it, like collarbone, a little bit right in there. I'll go back in here with the... That's under her hair. It's going to be real dark shadow right under her hair. Yeah, we were talking about Anne um, a minute ago. Suzanne, did you see that she was evacuate, evacuating? Because last I heard, she, she hadn't announced yet whether she was or not. Like I said, we have relatives coming up from Savannah. Uh, to Atlanta. So Anne is evacuating. All right, let's do a little more detail on our fingers here. So she's inland, uh, Carla's inland, okay. She announced on one of her YouTube videos. I saw that she announced that she was going to announce <laughs> when she was going to, but I didn't see that she said she when she was or whatever. Thank you, Suzanne. So you see it takes a while to do skin with pencil. Now I'm just going to blend a little here. And I'm blending green also, remember, so that's a little tricky too. Because I want it to look natural. <laughs> if you can make green scales look natural on brown skin, but you know, she is a mermaid. <laughs> Aw, oh, thanks, Kenny. So you just got to take your time. Let me get a sip of coffee here. Thanks, May. All right, back to a little Sienna. sharpen yeah I wanted to finish this because Monday I'm going to review that other color book that I showed y'all earlier and I want to do another because we didn't do a society for idea collecting this Monday so I want to do um, that on Monday so that will fill Monday just those two projects so I wanted to finish her today and uh, 
get some glitter on her. that too obvious a little divot in her neck you know the little your little um, well in your neck you know <laughs> I don't want it to look like she got she has a hole in her neck I just I suppose she is not evacuating her father won't leave and she won't leave him okay well she you know, I don't know where her house is. I don't know if anybody else does either. But is she in a flood area or does she know? I mean, they've lived down in Savannah for a long time. Well, her parents have too in that house, I think. Right? So they should know if they could, what, what kind of, you know, flood areas they can take I don't know you know I mean like she's not on Tybee Island or something is she <laughs> I hope not that's all right Suzanne thanks for letting us know what you did here because She's just someone that we'd know for sure that needs to be cautious. I'm sure she's not on Tybee Island or they would be down there making everybody move. I don't know where in Savannah she is. I know she's in an evacuation area. But I don't know, I don't know, you know, like I said, if she's lived there for, you know, 20 years or something, they probably have an idea of, not that you can ever predict a hurricane, don't get me wrong. You didn't evacuate um, during Sandy, Jen? Okay, yeah, that's what I was wondering, Jen. Thank you. So if you're watching this recording, we're talking about the hurricane, obviously, because make sure all our friends get out of harm's way. I'm working down her arm in case she, <laughs> her arm and her chest right in here. And then I'll do this arm, work down her stomach here. I'm, I'm trying to take my time though, guys. I, I don't really want to, I mean, I want it to not take too long, but at the same time, I want it to be nice, you know. So if we don't get all the fish and everything done, then oh well. <laughs> I want to get her far enough along that I can put glitter on her. The goal for the day is glitter. It's a glitter goal. A glitter goal day. Yeah, I don't know where that is, um, Jen. We had to stay at the house because there was nowhere to take the dogs. Oh, Jen. Yeah, see, that's a problem, you know? There was one point we were talking, Hubster saying, well, you know, maybe when we retire, we could go to move to Florida. He'd love to move back to Alaska, personally, he would. But, uh... I said, I don't want to live in Florida. If you don't live right on the beach, it's always hot and humid. And if you live on the beach, you're always having to evacuate. You know, every time there's a hurricane, I said, I don't want to do that. He doesn't really either. He doesn't really want to. It's too hot. I mean, it's hot enough here in Georgia. <laughs> Yeah. 
So I'm just slowly building up the layers here. Best goal ever is a glitter goal, huh, Marilyn? <laughs> I hope y'all can see well enough. If you want, I can zoom in a little more. But I'm kind of working all over the place. So I thought I'd, you know. You would not make a good Floridian. I just put a light blend there and then I'll go back in with the sienna color. And back in with the ginger root. And just keep building up layers. But I'm sure um, that the highways are going to be really slammed this weekend. People coming in from Savannah. We live, <clears throat> we live right off of 75, which is the main highway south to Florida and, south and towards Savannah. So it is always busy as it is. Uh, I did hear that the Atlanta Speedway opened up the speedway for campers if you have a camper and you left florida you can camp at the speedway the motor speedway but i know that highway is going to be slammed because it's busy all the time anyway But the Motor Speedway, <coughs> the Atlanta Motor Speedway is opened up for uh, camp. anybody that has a camper fleeing. Oh, I love learning Alaska. I want to visit during the cold months at some point. Tons of dark and snuggle. <laughs> yeah, we lived there for three years in Alaska. I'd never driven in snow before. And there's snow in Alaska. We lived in Anchorage. So, and they keep the roads pretty, you know, clear. But still. A lot of people take the um, um, cruise, the Alaska cruise, up there, but that's in summer. You know. I'm getting there, guys. Just taking my time because I want it to look nice. Let's go back up in here. Go back with the Sienna. So you can see it, it takes a while to blend skin. It's not something that you, you, 
I mean, you can just rush through it with one color. I mean, that's, you know, I'm not telling anybody how to color. <laughs> Don't email me. But if you want multiple hues in the skin and shades, it, it takes a while to blend it out nice. Especially when it got green in there. <laughs> but don't bear down. You know, don't bear down till... If you bear down, make sure it's your last layer. Because once you bear down and, and burnish the paper... You can add another layer on top. You can get it darker, but you're not going to be able to blend once you've burnished it down. So, and I need a little bit more green, I think, in there. I'm add a little bit more green. I don't want to lose that green that I put in there. So as long as you don't burnish it down, you can add it, add more blending. And again, I want to get to where we can use our glitter. <laughs> I need to see it take all this time. I feel like I'm doing something wrong when it takes a long time. Yeah, no. And that's one of the another reasons that I like doing videos that are not time-lapsed. I don't mind people doing time-lapse videos, but I wish they would say how long it took. Because, especially if you're new to any kind of drawing, painting, coloring, <clears throat> if you're new to any of that and you watch process videos that are speeded up, you really have no idea how long it takes. Not you, Tatiana, I'm just saying in general. Um... You, you think, oh, well, that didn't, that, you know, like, I'll give you an example. Erin, who did post a, she posted a process video that was time-lapse, but she put in there how long it took. And while I was watching it, I thought, I bet this took Erin at least three, four, five hours. Well, I think she said it took her a day. She posted how long it took her. But what I'm saying is people that watch process videos that are speeded up, Again, don't email me. I'm not fussing at you for doing process, I mean, speeded up videos. But I, I just wish that people would, would post how long it actually took. You know, if it took you six hours to do a painting, then put that in the description box. So, so newbies don't think, oh, I just whipped that out in an hour. And then they go to do it and, it, and they can't do it in a day. Yeah, Aaron said like a day total or a week over time. Yeah. And so, you know, newbies will think that they can just get that, you know, get that done in that quick a time. So I like doing real time. Of course, I would, even if I didn't like doing real time, I'd do real time <laughs> uh, videos. But you can see how long it really does take. And I, and I go fast because I know I'm recording. So I even go faster than, more faster than even I do off camera. I don't hurry through when I'm coloring with, you know, when I'm coloring uh, by myself. I, I take my time, you know, like anybody else. Um, but I kind of go a little faster when I'm on camera because I do want to get stuff done in a couple hours if I can or two parts or sometimes ten parts <laughs> like the oh dear the Bennett Klein oh dear I think that was the longest one I ever did process video it was ten parts and I don't like doing that I don't like doing that many parts For one, because then we don't do anything else. But also because most people don't really want to take that many, that long. 
to color, right? The, the longest one I've done recently is probably the Zimya Snova. That forest scene, the skin on your last fairy took six hours. Yeah, I know, May, it takes a long time, right? If you want to do it like this, you know. Because <laughs> you can't bear down if you want to blend. You, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm so lightly pushing on this here. And light layers is the key, I think, especially in skin. And I'm, I, I'm cleaning off. If I go over the dark brown, the dark brown starts accumulating on your light color. And so you need to kind of clean your pencil off. Otherwise, you'll be... If you don't, then what happens is you'll pick up some of the dark on your pencil, and then if you go over here on the light areas and start blending here, you're going to put down some of that dark that you picked up. So, you know, I'm cleaning off the pencil. If you see me do that, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, Kiki, it's it's light pressure. Um, when I start getting toward the end, I'll push just a little harder, like get a little bit more burnish going, but not till I know I'm done blending that area. Because, and even then, it's not heavy pressure. I mean, like when I did the black in her hair here, that was pretty heavy pressure because I knew it was going to be solid black, right, in the black areas. So that was a little harder pressure on all the black. And even then I went over it with the blue and you can still see like right in there, it still knocked back the black. So. But like right here, I, I'm barely pushing down. Let's see if I can show you over here. This is the pressure I'm putting down. See how light that is? That's the pressure I'm putting down right now, right here. Now I'll show you an example of real heavy pressure just so you can see the difference. So this is the pressure I'm using now, but I'm going to start giving more and more pressure. Okay, and I could probably even get it even more. So that's, this is the pressure I'm using now, just like that, okay? So you can test that yourself. And see then the, I'm going to go all the way down to heavy, heavy, heavy pressure, okay? So there's your layers of pressure. <laughs> yes, and that's what I'm doing with every color. Up until like the very, very, very end where I might want to do, let's say, let me get my dark brown here. Like right here where the black shadow is, I might want to go in here now and burnish it even a little bit more with the dark brown just to have it blend a little better. And so that right there is probably all I can do. I'm not going to be able to blend any more there. That's, that's as thick as it's going to get. Yeah, try it on black paper so you can see it. But you could do the same thing with the dark color on white paper. Yeah, ginger root is awesome for blending um, uh, for blending skin.
So see, I'm going over that green, so I don't want to pick that green up and move it down here. So. And if you and because Prisma colors are soft, sometimes you'll get a little crumb. Don't just go over that crumb with your pencil. Brush it away, preferably, you know, I have a, a draft drafting brush here. But even if you just use a soft paintbrush, like, you know, a soft paintbrush to brush away any little crumbs, it's better than using your hand. Because if you use your hand, which I have a habit of doing, but if you use your hand, you might smear a line. You might, your hand actually might pick up a crumb and move the crumb. Thanks, Marilyn. Um, so it's best to, you know, brush them off, even if it's just with a little soft paintbrush. It's just because otherwise, you're, if you try to just ignore the crumbs and just pencil right over it, you're going to get a line that you're not going to like. And again, there's multiple ways to do every, and different pencils react differently, um, you know. So if something different works for you, then fine. Well, good. You know, I'm glad something else works. But I mean, I don't know if you can see. It, no, you probably can't. There's little dots of pencil there where it's built up. All right, let me go back to the Sienna here. The book, Mel G, is, I can't tell you the name of it. It's this book. A Russian artist did it. I will put a link in the description box. I'm going to upload part one, and this is part two. And I'll put the link. You have to buy it from her directly. As far as I know. As far as I know. Jen sent this to me, so... But I'll put the link to her website. But shipping's going to be expensive. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be as expensive as some books. But, you know, you'll be paying for shipping probably the same amount as the cost of the book. Legends About Mermaid is what it's called. Okay, thanks. I, I think, Jen, I, have it, I probably have it written down somewhere. <laughs> but I'll write it down again. Legends, and I, I, it's on our website too. I think in um, on our website it says Legends about Mermaids. Yeah, thanks, Erin. Legends about Mermaids, and yes, it's right. You have to buy it directly from the artist. Jen just said. So, and this is only the second page I've worked on. The other one is in here. Hang on, where is it? And I do have a piece of cardstock behind it. Um, here's the other one that I did. And again, she's got lots of, there's the color right there. Because remember, I'm in the sunlight here, guys. There's the color, and then there's the glitter. Oh, and I use stickles. I use stickles in her hair here, on her eyes there. So that's what I used on this one, was, was stickles. And then on this one, I'm going to try to use the paints that um, I saw Anne on A Colorful Life. I bought four colors, so we're going to use those today. Let me sharpen again. I'm ordering this one today, man. <laughs> okay. I've done a flip through of it. Uh, when I color that other page. And there's a link in that on that video too. 
to her website. So. Right back to the where my stand I go there it is. So I'm blending, layering, blending, layering. As long as you keep it soft. come down here Hi again, Grace. I want a little bit more green right in here, I think. Hurricane's coming straight at us. Lord. Is. Yeah, we've been talking about it, Grace. We talked about it a bunch already. Yeah. And I think everybody's keeping track. I mean, I don't know anybody that's not <laughs> keeping track of where the hurricane, especially if they're in the path of it. Getting there, guys. I really want to get her skin nice. Then we can move on to the finishing up the scales, her tail, and then um, some glitter. Let's see how long we've been here. Let me check my check my time. Hour and fifteen minutes. Okay. I know it might be kind of tedious just to watch the skin part, but it is what it is when that's what the picture is, <laughs> right? <laughs>
All right, back to the ginger root. Thanks, Lindsay. Yeah, everybody stay safe over the weekend. Whatever you have to do to do that. Okay, I think I'll stop on her arm there. Alright, let's finish up her stomach and her scales. Thanks, Pat, and good morning, by the way. Okay, I'm going to get some dark brown shadow right up in here. And back with the sienna. And you do kind of have to watch if you're doing a stomach, like a belly button or something. Got to kind of watch this. Sh and she is kind of tilting this way. But you got to be careful where you shade. Otherwise, you're going to make her look like she's with Baby Mermaid. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with the ginger root and start gently blending. Aw, thanks. And that's Towai? Towai? Hey there, APG Jamie. How you doing down there in Houston area? We've been talking about the other one coming up the coast. How, how are you doing down there? I haven't seen a Blade post in a couple days. I just might have missed it, though. I was kind of following the art family down in Houston. And they were okay. I mean, they weren't flooded out or anything. So, all right, I'm going to go back in here with a little bit dark. A little bit more sienna. So you doing okay? Toll. Toll. Tolly? Toll why? Toll? Just toll? Doing okay. Staying away from Houston. Blade is doing okay. Okay. Thanks, Jamie. Jean, come in. Hey, Jean. So I'm trying to get her get down here where I can start working on the scales and then her tail and then we'll put some glitter. I haven't decided on the background though. I, I don't know. I want to just leave it white.
it would probably this would be a good one to probably chalk if I chalked. Some people like to chalk their backgrounds. I don't like chalk. <laughs> it looks pretty on the girls that use it on their pages. I just don't like chalk. I don't like touching it. It's so dry. Okay, a little bit of crumb there. Don't want to. Hello, Dora. Dixie isn't back in her apartment yet. It's still rain in the property. Yeah, I did see that on, uh, I did see that Dixie got flooded. I saw that on Twitter. Everybody just stay safe over the weekend, please. Tell you, I won't be getting on that highway if I don't have to. Where everybody's leaving Florida and Savannah and all, coming north, the highway is going to be redonkerous, <laughs> as the young people say. Well, they may not say that anymore. They did for a while. <laughs> So I'm just going to get this layer of ginger root on here and I'll go back in and put some more sienna and maybe a little more green. If y'all are just joining us, I'm trying to get to the point where I can add that glitter paint. Back to the ginger root here to sharpen. And it is a little bright, guys. It is a little, the color's a little, there we go. The color's a little darker. It's like that. There's the true color right there. But because I got the sunlight on it, it's a little light. But I'm enjoying the sunlight, so... Can, you can take a Kleenex, like if it gets real waxy, you can take a Kleenex and, you know, kind of get some of the wax off. But once your page is burnished down, you, it's just, you can't get those layers back. But you can kind of get some of the wax shine off. But the layers are what, what you've done, right? It is getting a little flashed and a little bright there. So I think I'm going to stop on the skin because I want to get down to the scales. She could use a little more green right in here.
because I want it to look like, you know, it's forming off of her body, like naturally. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to go in with my dark green and going to go around the rest of these scales where we started the other day. And I'm just kind of doing little side shadows there. Whoops, pushed too hard. And because I'm going to glitter over this whole thing, I'm not going to do a whole lot of, you know, worrying about this. I'm just going to do some shadows like this. And then I'll go over it with the lighter green. And then we're going to paint. So just give me a minute. I need coffee. push too hard. This one might be a crumbly one. This is this one might be old. One of my ones that I've had issues with. Let me use my uh, I'll use my Derwent here. Get a nice sharp point because I'm trying to do these scales. Bam! <laughs> now that's going to snap as soon as I start putting any pressure on the very tip. <laughs> no matter how light a pressure, it's probably going to snap the tip. But it's a nice sharp point for getting along these scales here. get some errands or I need to go to the grocery store get a few things try not to get out on the highway this weekend like I said we're right off of 75 so it's going to be a little crazy this weekend on the roads oh thanks <laughs> uh, so let's just get a little bit more up in here I like it too Jean I just, you know, it's, I don't take it, you know, when I move from room to room or something, I don't carry it with me. Let's see. <laughs> Got my pencil sharpeners. Here's my eraser, which doesn't need to be in there. <laughs> oh. Okay, so now let me go over here and these little scales here. And again, we started with a watercolor base on top of clear gesso, which is in part one. I'm going to try to upload both parts at the same time, part one and then this one, part two. <clears throat> Somebody's asked me, aren't you going to upload that mermaid you did? Yes, I'm going to put it up with part two. <laughs> okay, now let me go ahead and go in here and do a little bit. Again, I'm not going to over do the tail here. I'm going to try to leave <clears throat> some of the watercolory effect in there because I'm going to go over it with glitter. So that will give it some highlights and stuff too. So as soon as I do this, I'm going to add a little bit of the uh, lime green into it, and then we're going to glitter her up. 
with the paint. Hopefully it'll work over the top. Oops. Hopefully it'll work over the top of this watercolor. <laughs> we'll see what happens. And then it comes all the way up here too. So I'm just kind of really following the lines that are in her tail already. Oh, did I tell you? Oh, well, I told the people on Twitter. Diva, our uh, rescue cat, she is still skittish, but she's a meower. She's a talker. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, and it's not like, yes, you know, because she's so skittish, if you know, she meows, you want to go to pet her and pew, she bolts. But then she comes back and meows. And she only meows like she's not, nothing wrong with her because she doesn't do it when she's not around you. Like she'll leave the room and she doesn't meow. It's just when she's around you, right? And, um, or she doesn't meow when you pet her either. She'll come up to you and let you pet her, but you sh it has to be on her terms. So you can't like go pick her up and love on her. She has to come up to you, and you can't make any sudden moves. Well, we come to find out, and I think Hubster was playing some music. He was playing some jazz music on the computer while he was checking his email or something the other day, and she immediately stopped meowing. Immediately. So he told me all the place, all the music he was listening to that shut her up. <laughs> so now if she's just meowing and meowing and meowing i turn on the music some like chill jazz or sax or something chill and she stops she immediately just lays down and chills and listens to the music so she is such a diva i mean really is a diva so I did a little, and now I'm not, I'm not good at really doing too much in Photoshop, but I did, let's see if I can show you, I probably won't show up, maybe, I'd have to readjust the light, or I'll just have to show you after I'm done, I don't want to mess up my settings right now, because it's pretty good, <laughs> but I'll see if it'll show up, so I did this little, There's like all kinds of little music notes above her head. And I put little earbuds in her and put sunglasses on her. <laughs> see if I can. Uh, kind of there. You can kind of see it a little bit. <laughs> so I put earbuds and music and sunglasses. <laughs> oh, she's a jazz kitty. So we're thinking that her family. See, she's five years old. And what happened was, is a, a, a fam, I don't know if it was a couple or a family, but they moved here from Arizona. And thinking that the apartment they were moving into allowed cats. We'll come to find out they didn't. And they moved here for a job, right? So they took her to the shelter. And Hub, uh, one of the girls that works with Hubs, hit, her sister runs the shelter. And that's how we found her. And she's been fixed, and she's chipped, and bless her heart, she was declawed in the front. Um, let's see what else. And she's had all her shots and everything, but she's just so skittish. So we play the jazz, and she chills. <laughs> she just chills, like, immediately, you know? So, yeah, we have a diva chill jazz cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I will draw her eventually, yeah. Okay, so let's see right here. But I just thought that was so funny that that will chill her music. Mm -hmm. I don't know if all music, but the music, you know, we've just played some chill. and Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. We got everything kind of some dark green. Now I want to take, uh, I think I'll just go right into, I, I normally would probably go in here with the apple green before the chartreuse, like this. But I don't know if I got time to do each 
I don't want to run out of time before we get to the glitter. But normally, I think I would go in here and go over the top of all the dark green, leaving just a little bit of the light green from the watercolor. The thing about doing a base, like with watercolor, neo color, um, acrylic wash, any of it, is it gives you a, such a nice base to work on top of, and it just goes faster. Coloring pages will go faster if you have a base. Even if you end up covering up most of it. <laughs> and again, we did this watercolor on top of clear gesso, which I don't care for. Uh, I think the clear gesso would probably have its uses for other mediums, but I don't like the way the watercolor floats on top of the gesso. That's just me. That's just my personal preference. I'd rather have it sink into the paper <laughs> so that I can do stuff with it. But we we're, we try all different kinds of stuff. So there's that. And again, it's a little flashed out because of the sunlight, but there we go. All right, now I'm going to take the chartreuse over here. Go over those tiny scales a little bit. Maybe I'll just put a little in here. Highlight areas. Again, I'm going to go over this with glitter here in just a minute. So I'll just put the chartreuse here, like right here. Kind of like where the very highlights of her, the bend of her leg would be. Well, leg. <laughs> her hip. The bend of her hip would be like right there. So that's going to be lighter. Where it's, you know, puffed out some. Alright, so now I'm just going to go in here and add a little bit of the chartreuse green. Maybe a little bit of a blend with the dark green. And see, look, see how much dark green, I don't know if you can see, how much dark green I picked up on there. If you go to a light area with that, you're going to lay that dark green down. So that's why you come over here and you clean off your pencil. <laughs> yes, you're waiting for the glitter. I know, Jen, we're getting there. Jen's waiting for the glitter. <laughs> and I think glitter will look good on these uh, uh, bubbles too, but I haven't colored those yet, so... I'm just blending in some of the dark green here. I don't know what I'm going to do in the background yet. Like I said, it won't be today. And neither will these other little fish <laughs> get done. And especially, once you glitter, whether it's stickles or paint or whatever, you're going to have to let it dry. Otherwise, you're going to risk getting your hand in it and everything. So once I start working with the glitter, that's all I'm going to do on her, on, on recording. But I think y'all get the idea. And, you know, I'm going to color these little fish. Like, I'm a, I've am i got a base of uh, yellow wash on there. And then I'm going to go in here with orange stripes. Just so you can see what I'm going to do with them. I'm just going to hard pressure the stripes. Even though I'm, like, hard pressuring it. As long as I'm not trying to blend anything together I can go in there like say with the sienna and maybe put a little bit of a shadow down here on the bottom and I'm going to shadow the whole fish but there's really no blending once you hard pressure so but I just want to show you what the fish are going to look like I'm not going to do all the blend you know the background here yet but I just want you to see the colors I'm putting on top of the yellow Not going to do a whole lot with them. Um, I think I'll do the back tail. But it'll be something like this. Maybe right under there too. 
so that's kind of what the fish will look like just so you can see hey Colleen all right so let's go back let me sharpen my chartreuse again I want to get to the glitter all right so let's finish up this part here see where I've added the chartreuse on top I'm just kind of blending out the dark green and adding a little bit in there I'm not covering up all the watercolor and the thing is even if you do cover up most of the watercolor you still have that base there that you'll use far less pencil if you're going over the top rather than if you had to color this whole thing shades of green pencil it would take you a long long time not that there's anything wrong with it I'm just saying if you want to do a little bit quicker color book pages base coat your stuff your areas with either acrylic paint acrylic washes uh, watercolor washes neo color something that you're working on top of like a color already laid down it'll just be so much easier okay there's a couple places here I missed some dark green there and right up here okay I'm gonna go ahead and add a few extra little tail swirls just a couple like thin lines extra thin lines just a couple there okay so hey DeMonte all right so again this is like just a wash and then there's just a one flat color of orange and I'll do that that one and then these down here they have a wash of the reddish color I'll go in there with red on top of them this has a blue wash I'll go in there with blues and again the bubbles like I should probably do a bubble so you can see let's do a little where's my indigo just so you can see a little bit of bubble shading there and then what I'll do is where the little highlights are because I just did a wash over the whole thing I'll go in there with my white and do that and maybe an extra little glow something like that so that the little bubbles got you know a little bit of dimension to them but I'm not going to do that all right now there's one Okay, so let's do glitter. So what I'm going to do is back out. Okay, that's pretty good. And I still have shells, coral, more shells and coral here. Got all that to do. And the bubbles and the fish. But I wanted to get her done before we ran out of time. Hello, kitty. okay and her hair so let me go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put out let's start with uh, the only gold that I'm probably going to do is her top so I'll go ahead and just start with the clear the crystal clear it's just called crystal it's tw it's a uh, twinkle twink twinkles by deco art same people that make Americana twinkles crystal and then this is the gold and it's so like look let me take the lid off. let me shake it up first let me show you how twinkly the gold looks let's see if I can get it to come. look look at that Isn't that awesome um, I'm not sure if this is all acrylic <laughs> Let me get a fresh palette just in case. I don't want to be picking up color if that's uh, anything other than acrylic. 
All right, so here we go. I know, so I'm going to squeeze some out here. And let's see if you can see how glittery that is. I don't know how much it's going to take, so I'll just put that much out. Let me get a brush. Let me get it wet. Even though my paint water's dirty, I don't want to... I know, right? All right, so let's see. So I'm going to start with their hair. I probably need a, also a smaller brush because I'm going to go... Um, up into these swirls here and this is not an angle brush it's just a flat so we'll go with two brushes here all right all right so let's go ahead and put on and again I'm going over watercolor so it's mostly it's mostly my pencil <laughs> because I put a lot of pencil over it but there's watercolor base so we'll see what happens here all right and then we'll twink we'll sit we'll put it in the Sun and see how it looks I know you can't see it right now because it's not tilted toward the light but see how this is going to work Jen's patiently waiting for that glitter <laughs> I'm going to get the large areas here with the flat brush and I'll go in there with the and you don't have to get like you know make sure you get every little hair I mean I guess you could I'm just getting the you know pretty much wiping it all over the whole thing here all right now I'm gonna go in here with the smaller brush and go along the curls and I don't know if it's gonna compare to stickles or not let me do that bubble right there uh, I don't know if it's going to compare to stickles as far as shine or whatever. This is the first time I've used it. So there's some over here. But once you do this, you're going to have to sit back and let it dry. So I'll do the fish, the bubbles, and all that later. But I wanted to get her done. I'm not looking at chat for a minute. Hang on, guys. I'm kind of tilting my head. Hear my squeaky chair. And seeing where it's not. And I guess after it dries, if it's not enough glitter, you could always put another layer, right? I don't know why you couldn't. Some hair over here. I don't know why you couldn't. All right, so I'm going to go here on her scales on her arm, right along the green. I'm just going to put the glitter on the green. There's a little on her neck, a little here, a little here. I'm only going to put the glitter on the green. All right, so let's go down here on our body. Let me go back to the bigger brush now. Up into her stomach a little bit there. Let's see what happens. Jen, do you have this uh, paint, this glitter paint that Ann used? And have you used it? Do you have it and have you used it? Um, yeah, I'm sure they make black glitter. I didn't get it. I got red, teal, clear, and gold. So now I'm going to slather it on here. I'm waiting to see if Jen's used it. You can buy the black in what Dee Dee's using now or stickles. Yeah, I love stickles. Stickles is very, uh, because of the tiny point on a stickles. And if y'all don't know what stickles are, um, like this. Um, well, let me take one out.
the points are very see how tiny you can get a lot of detail and they're just called stickles glitter and I know it's a little flashed out guys because of the sun but bear with me let me get this on here So again, if it dries and it's not glittery enough, I'm just assuming you could put on another layer and and get it get the glitter thicker, right? Okay, let's see. I got a little up here, a little right there. Okay. All right, let's look at it. Now remember, this is also getting your page wet. Let me get the glitter out of my brushes here. So be aware that no matter what, <laughs> you are wetting your paper. This one happens to be thick enough to deal with it. But if you're using a Bennett Klein, um, oh, I missed what you said, Jen. I'm sorry, it rolled off. Let me see if I can go scroll back and catch... I think I have every color that they make. I used it on my Halloween and Christmas ceramics. Haven't used this on my color books. I prefer the stickles for coloring. Yeah. Well, I just got it because Ann used it. <laughs> she enabled. And I got four colors. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we can see. Let's see. Oh, which way should I? Uh, see, it's still wet. So you're going to see shine from the wet of the paint. There we go on the tail. I'm not sure if it's as glittery as Stickles. I mean, it's pretty glittery, but I'm not sure. See, I put some on her skin right there. I put it on her skin where the green is, and then there's her hair. It's pretty. It looks pretty good. It's, it's quick. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it's quick. There's our hair right there. Yeah, we're all good at enabling, aren't we? <laughs> we all enable each other. All right, so there we go. There it is on our body. Again, I think, now because it's paint base. I'm going to hit it with a heat gun and see what happens. Stickles is a little thicker and you really can't heat set it. I mean, heat dry it because it's thick. Um, well, these are like, I think they were, they were under two bucks. They're under two bucks, I, I think. I, I don't really remember to tell you the truth. And stickles, but stickles are thicker. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can dry it. I also want to make sure it doesn't come off. You use two coats of this? Okay. So let's dry. Oh, I touched it. Look, <laughs> it came right up. I don't know that I can do, I don't know if this will work. It might have to self-dry, just like Stickles has to self-dry. Yeah, it's not as consistently glittery as Stickles. That's true, Tatiana. It's still kind of sticky. I don't know if it stays sticky. I hope it doesn't stay sticky. Let's see what happens. Or it might just be because I'm putting the heat to it. Yeah, that's what I want to check, Lindsay, to see if the glitter flakes off. I think Ann said it did not. Yeah, see, it's, st it's staying sticky with the heat gun. Let me, uh, let me wash my hands and then touch it and see if any comes off. Hang on, guys. Let me wash my hands. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see. Okay, I know I can get a baby wipe. I still see some. This is my thing with glitter. I do not want this in my eyes. <laughs> so, I'm very picky on my glitter. I know stickles does not come off at all. So, let me make sure my hands are perfectly dry. Stickles has a much finer glitter. I like the random glittery look, though. Not sure if the look, if I like the look of the glitter paint. Wink of Stella's, yeah, but Wink of Stella's shiny, but it's not glittery. Marilou, probably think, I'm probably making it sticky with the heat. Yeah, I'm thinking so too, Terry. Yeah, see, it's still not dry. So I can't tell you if it's going to come off when it's dry because it's not dry. So, yeah. It's still wet. So it's probably like stickles in that it has to sit. Okay, so let me, let's kind of go over here. Let's see if we can do a little comparison, even though it's still wet. Where's the one I did? Hang on, let me find it. Where is she? There she is. Okay, so let's kind of look at the, here's this, here's the uh, paint. Let's, her hair is probably a good place to look. Okay, there. There's her hair. Now let's go over here. I can't flip this completely because it's still wet. But look, yeah, see, Stickles is so much... Hang on, I'm struggling with the big book here. Look, look at the Stickles. Uh, let me, there we go. Look, there's Stickles. It's, Stickles is much more glittery still. Can y'all see the hair right there? Let's go down here. In the water. Yeah, stickles is more glittery. But I'm going to add a second coat. Let's just go ahead and put another coat on here. Because it's going to be wet anyway. And I can't, I can't really, you know do anything anyway now or you know anything else so I'm going to add another layer even though it's not a hundred percent dry I'm going to add some more and then when it's dry like the next Monday I'll show it again on Monday and we'll test it and look at it but I'm going to upload part one that I did on Wednesday and this one, even though I didn't quite finish the fish or, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the background. It's almost like you got to dab it. I think Anne did say that, that you have to almost dab it on, not really paint. So let's do more dabbing. Let me put a little more out. I'm going to dab. If I dab, it is thicker. But I'm also being cautious that this is wetting the paper. Which, th like I said, this paper, it won't m mine be so bad because it's thick. But if I was dabbing all this wet paint on, a, on, say, Bennett Klein or something, I don't know. I'd be a little leery. It is thicker, though, dabbing. So, yeah, do the dabbing, guys. But be cautious of... <laughs> be cautious of over wetting your paper okay so let me finish dabbing I think you'll see a big difference now that I dabbed I can hear Anne in the background dab it dab it dab it <laughs> all right so let me dab some more on her fins or her fin over here yeah, I can definitely tell a difference by patting it on there rather than streaking it on. And this is a one-sided page, and I also have a piece of cardstock behind it, so I'm not too worried about it going through. 
but you know all right hang on guys i'm almost done dabbing i need a little bit more you use a lot more when you dab <laughs> dab nab it <laughs> so if y'all yeah we're talking about ann who is a colorful life on youtube and she's in savannah probably hunkering in now or whatever she has to do to stay safe down there like i said we have relatives coming in from savannah today um all right so i'm dab dab dabbing i shouldn't be going over these flowers though because <laughs> i'm not going to be able to put any any a pencil over this glitter i know that for a fact because you know it's going to be crunchy like you can't probably go back over it but okay there we go dab 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 now let's look at it again now as long as it doesn't come off after it's dry i'll be good <laughs> all right so here we go let there you go look at her hair dab 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 there on her skin where the green is see it is thicker it's still not quite as shiny to me it's not as glittery as stickles. It's glittery, but I don't know. There's something a little bit more luminance, luminous, luminous about stickles. But this is pretty good. Pretty good. Not saying it's not good. There we go. Yeah. Have relatives. Not to my house, Colleen. Yeah, it won't be my at my house. Yeah. They're coming to Atlanta though, but they're not staying at my house. We have a lot of family here in Atlanta. So all Hubster's families it lives here. Okay, so there we go, guys. I think that's good. Again, it's a little flashed out because of the sunlight, but it's pretty good. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Took us about two hours to finish. So all total, we probably worked about three and a half, four hours. Yeah, it is a good alternative if you don't like stickles. And it's fine. I'm not, uh, trust me, that's some glitter stuff there. I'm anxious to see you know how the um, how it dries um, and if it flakes off now that will be the that will be the killer for me if it flakes off I don't think I think Ann said it didn't did, did you notice if it flakes off Jen as long as it doesn't flake off um, when it's dry you know yeah and so the thing uh, yeah dot so here's where I just like lined it like I just put lines of glitter, uh, stickles in her hair. Let's see if I can get the sun because I can't lay this book down, right? Let's get the, there we go. See the blue right there? And then right on her eyes right there. So either one, I think you can really see it there in the water. The stickles is just a little bit more glitter concentrated. But for a color book page, I think this is awesome. Yeah, can't can't do with the flaking of the glitter. Glitter has to be, um, you haven't tested on paper. It does not flake off on ceramics. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, again, we got to finish the fish, the bubbles. There's one bubble done. There's one bubble. We'll have all the bubbles like that. And then these fish and all the little flowers here. I'll post a square on, you know, of it when we're completely done. Um, you like the controlled look of the stickles, but overall not a glitter lover. Yeah, I don't, I like it in some color book pages, but it has to be appropriate. Like, you know, a mermaid needs to be glittery. But I do not glitter up everything, for sure. I could see using both for different effects. Yeah, that's true, Kathy. Yeah. So, yeah. So we'll uh, let y'all go. 
it's about 11. Everybody stay safe over the weekend. Yeah, and I'm going to upload part one, which I haven't put on YouTube yet, that I did on Wednesday. Part one, and this is part two. So I'll put up both parts uh, on YouTube. Okay. Okay, Janet. And, um, yeah, hopefully we'll, everybody that's, you know, tweet us, you know, how, make sure that y'all stay safe. In the, in the, uh, yeah, Jen Glitter. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Jen Glitter's everything. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. All right. Y'all have a good weekend. Stay safe and say some prayers for all those in the path of the hurricane. Okay, guys. Bye-bye.